Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Where today we're opening the kickoff multi pack for the brand new Premier League Adrenal XL 2025 trading card collection. Absolutely crazy. It has absolutely rocketed up in price, which is absolutely gutting $6.99. But I think the new inclusion of number parallels has made it that way. All collections are now turning to sort of more hobby every year sort of style. So the pound pack for Panini Days is officially gone. It's a bit gutting, but, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. So as you see, we've got the kickoff multi-pack with just a select mix of cards in this one. So you can't get everything. Uh, the thing I'm loving so far from what I've seen, uh, the cards look nice, but the stadium cards being back is absolutely awesome. Base cards look quite nice. And of course, we'll touch on everything else as we get through it because there are some new uh, new cards, including those model pros. And last but not least, we will touch on it, the number parallel cards. You can get a normal Saka and then you can get a Saka out of 500, 250, 100. And of course, if you are that one in the world, extremely lucky person, there is that one of one Saka, which is uh, absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. So without further ado, let's get into this kickoff multi pack, see what we can find inside. So we have four packets. My only guess is with the increase in pack costs that they've increased the amount of cards in each packet. Uh, I won't hold my breath though, but that is my that's my initial instinct. But I could be completely wrong. I could be completely wrong. And the only other thing is, can you get any of the new golden ballers in this? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Would be awesome if you could, because then it'd make it more worth it if you want to buy more than one in the chase for, you know, other stuff that isn't just these sackers. Because, uh, yeah, the golden ballers are always a bit harder to complete, aren't they? So if you could get golden ballers in these, that'd be awesome. So we'll save the sacker till last. And as you can see here, we have got eight cards per packet so an increase of two cards per packet uh not quite you know not not brilliant a, a few more cards would have been nicer for one pound 80 uh but at the end of the day i think match tax are going up to three pounds this year so one pound 80 in that sense isn't actually i suppose that bad is it so without further ado let's get into these have a look all packs are the same destiny adogi and buemo uh McAllister, bowen and Carl Walker on the front of these. So eight cards per packet. I imagine there's going to be a minimum of two shinies per packet. But without further ado, let's get in. So we've got this new base card design here with that white border. Um, I actually quite like it. Uh, it looks quite nice, actually. Maybe I might be the only one. I'm not sure how these are going to go down. Because they're definitely a bit different, aren't they? But I do quite like them. I do quite like them. So... After that, we've got James Tarkowski, a Kobe Amenu there. Very, very nice. I keep thinking there's another card after. There's like this effect at the bottom of the stats, uh, which is a bit weird. But we've got Kobe Amenu there, all new kits. We then have a Magic Touch, uh, Alejandro Garnacho there. Uh, two very well sought after cards there amongst Manchester United fans. We then have the Arsenal logo. So our first look at the logo of those new sort of zigzags. Let's have a look at the back as well quickly. There's a look at the back of one of the cards. Continuing the Man United theme because there'll be select teams in here. Mason Mount. We have Billy Gilmore and we have Pape Matasa. And if we have a look at the back there, that is what they look like for a regular player. So not bad. Not bad. A couple of new. Is Magic Touch new? I'm pretty sure they've maybe done that one before. But... Looks so nice. Let's get into pack number two. I don't know if West Ham have been included in the kickoff packs, but we'll soon find out, I'm sure. We have Lewis Dobbin, uh, Pierre Emil Hoiberg, Lewis Dunk, Matteo Kovacic there, midfield master. Very, very nice. Another new one with that champion logo. We then have Hotshot, Ivan Tony. Will he still be there at the end of the season? We'll soon find out. Nine million pounds, that one. 
Very, very good cost. Uh, 7.2, 7 I'm reading out the wrong things. Jared Brantthwaite there. Man City's Ruben Diaz and Mateo Kovacic yet again there. So starting to get a feel of what teams you can get in this kickoff multi-pack. I'm really, really hoping you can get West Ham in here, but I'm starting to give up hope slowly as we open these packs. But because Bowen was on the front and I saw an Emerson Palmieri card on the cardboard... I was hoping they might be. Anyway, there is our first look at one of the stadium cards. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. I remember when they did these back in match tax in like the 12-13 hmm, season. Maybe. I'm not too sure off the top of my head. But these are absolutely stunning. Really, really pleased they're back. I love the stadiums. After that, we have Super Erling Haaland. There you go. 12.8 million there now 50 million on fancy team as well which is crazy but Erling Haaland still one of the most sought after players and we do have the trophy card don't know if this is going to be like last year where they claim it's one in 50 packets but you get it so much more than that but we've got the trophy card which is typically speaking a pretty rare pull to be honest so there you go bonus trophy card very, very nice design on that one. And then we have Hypersonic there. Mickey van der Ven. Very, very nice. And then we have Jack Hinselwood. Another stadium. Woo! Look at that. Craven Cottage there. Wow, I really like these. These are already my new favourite cards. I really hope. 171. My guess is they're actually going to be on the team. Yeah, they are. They're going to be with their teams, the stadium photos. But I would have liked to seen all the stadiums next to each other, as silly as that sounds. But they look incredible. And then we finish off with Evan Ferguson. So, yeah, really starting to doubt we're going to find any West Ham players in these packs. Which is uh, just a tiny bit gutting. Uh, but we move. We've got Johan Wisser. Ooh, Maxwell Corne. West Ham look like they may be in the kickoff multi packs after all. Try and collect all the West Ham ones twice, which is quite a pain in the backside. But try and have one for a personal collection and one with a normal collection. But it's Maxwell Corne who may get some more gay time um, under Julian Lopetegui this season. We then have Jordan Pickford. We have a fire, Luis Diaz. They look absolutely awesome. Really, really nice. Fire, Luis Diaz. We then have the Ipswich Town logo. Wow, Ipswich fans, how chuffed are you if you're a collector to be in this set? It must feel amazing if you're a collector that you can collect your own team again. Absolutely top stuff. After that, we have Scott McTominay. Kurt Zuma there, the captain's armband. Very nice. Chuff that you can get West Ham players in these now. Really, really pleased. It's tempting me to go out and buy more. And then we have Hung Min Son there of Tottenham to finish two, both with their captain's armbands on. Has Pickford got his on as well? No, it doesn't look like it. So, there is the cards. Very, very nice looking uh, cards. Eight cards per pack. Looks like it's going to be £1.80. But without further ado, let's get on. I'm really sorry. To the Bukayo Saka limited edition card. Will you find a number parallel? Who knows? If there's 100, 250, 500 and the 1, that means there's only, what, 851 parallels in the whole of the UK circulating in these multi-packs. They've got a... They can't be easy to find. They cannot be easy to find. So I'm I'm certainly not going to be getting my hopes up. But, you know, I'm certainly not going to be. So, without further ado, it's facing that way. We know the player. It's been Haaland for the last couple of years, hasn't it? So I don't know. I think from the back, uh, the number was on the front of the card. So we have got him 3 2 one Bang, yes, 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 yes. We have the normal Bukayo Saka limited edition. At the end of the day, we do, of course, need it. The one thing I will touch on is that is a pretty nice limited edition. Like, that is really nice. I like that design a lot. There's been a couple of limited editions in the past where I'm like, that just looks so boring and plain. But that looks quite nice, to be fair. I quite like that. So there you go. Here's a need for the collection at the end of the day, so can't complain. But there you go. A first look 
at the Panini Premier League Adrenal XL 2025 trading card collection. If you did enjoy, please make sure to like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and we'll have more content for this collection coming in the future. Bye for now.